I'm a big believer that the uh, Belon 03s changed everything, changed the game in ways that are going to be felt all way through 2020. Uh, the, the, the tuning model no longer is the Harman the desired curve. This is not a Harman. This is a different tune. If you were to compare it to a Harman, you would say that they cut the top off and it sounds better. It's a more appealing and proof of that is that after 11.11, and right now, but after 11.11, Amazon, AliExpress, and other seller combined in units moved, this is probably going to be the biggest in the history of Chi-Fi. That's crazy to think of how many items have been sold over the years and that this is likely going to be, in a couple of weeks, the biggest seller they've ever had. Do you think that they put a $35 and like this was a plan? I don't think so. Not at all. I think they cut lightning in a bottle, but they know how they got that lightning in a bottle. So they're going to try to do it better and they're going to try to make a newer version. And it's, there are going to be a lot of companies that kind of imitate. When you see something that works, if you're clever, you, you take that and you make it your own. You don't need to rearrange something that's already well. If you look into the B lawn zero with three, there's two things that jump out as being mm, issues. One would be fit, and there's some people that have no problem with that whatsoever. There's other people that do have problem because of the cable and for other reasons. It's got a it's got a unique design. It's not st stopping it from selling tons and tons and tons though. But that that fit is. If you can't get a good the stuff that I have the urban the urban ear over ears I, by the way I'm wrecking those strongly for 1111 get those man I'm telling you those things are absolutely awesome I still got them they they memory foam on the head they're brilliant beryllium drivers absolutely fantastic that's a set that made me think beryllium was like amazing um all of the sets that I got that I keep like that, the MA900s that are so light, you don't even feel them on your head. I've got Dakoni pads on that. Fit is really important. And eventually the difference between something being put in a drawer, despite its awesomeness, is its practical usage. Like, is it comfortable? The T4 is something that is definitely easier fit for the average user. This is what we plug and play. Put it in the ear you're gone. Whatever your favorite tips are, spin fits, um, the KZ stars, wh whatever your tips are, you put them on anyway, whatever you get, these will fit in, be no problem. The second thing about this set, keep in mind that this is still um, probably all-time favorite right now. I'm, I'm going to be doing videos about this coming. The other thing that people had said about this, and feedback is what's in the comment section, is there are a couple genres the people, they say they love it, but for this genre or for that genre, they still prefer another set. What they're basically saying is that this baseline encroaches a little too much for them. Not for me, but for them. But I get it. I'm looking at it right now. That's not a late transition, but it's it, the elevation is, it's there. And it can cause maybe a little bit of lack of clarity in this area. And for some people, that's a, an important area. There's a lot of info for the music that they listen to. If you watch what I do, keep your eye on that. We've got about 1.5 to 2 dB drop. Remember, these are both, I believe, CNT, single dynamic drivers. So we're taking the same tech, a dynamic driver, and we're dropping the bass slightly. We're keeping the transition from 1 to 4K pretty much identical it's almost identical this is right on the bar and just under so that would be about 9 db this is right just about under it and just under it it's about 10 or 9 it's almost the exact same elevation and crossing the same trajectory and then it's got a flattened harmon pretty much it's got it's its own tuning this is the belon tuning i don't even want to call it a harmon which is a it's got a drop at 4k which is this is the new 8k when you're talking about the Harman, the part that's getting a lot of people is right here in that hill. Right here is where it's causing problems. And again, over here, it's got the little divot, which is the difference between listening for 30 minutes and enjoying and listening for two or three hours because you, you're not paying attention to what's in your ear. That little notch right there. 
and then you've got another drop and then you've got a post 8k peak and then two fall aways and then this you've got another notch and then a post 8k peak a drop and then you've got your info that would help with cymbal strikes um hi-hats uh some guitar and there's info up here and gives a sense of completeness so the t4s would be for people that want a better fit this is still affordable price is going to be um i i was told something and then i was told something different but there's going to be a 20 dollar discount on linsole and that's going to make the total to be around 60 bucks or 50 bucks 50 or 60 bucks is what this is going to be which is going to be a better fitting b lawn with a slightly little bit less bass so that video didn't take very long. Do I recommend the T4? I'm going to do a whole review video for it and talk about the music like I usually do. But just to give you guys, people are waiting. 11.11 is like breathing right on us. Uh, these are excellent. These are very much like these, but they fit better. And they've got a little bit more tamed bass. And it's dynamic driver bass, just like this is dynamic driver bass. So they both give you that same sense of realism. People say the BA is... People that say BA bass is better than the dynamic are not the same people that I I don't I disagree with that. I, I prefer dynamic to take care of the low end if it's possible. If there's a triple hybrid with the EST and BAs, I'd like the dynamic to take care of the low end. There's some that are putting it in the middle. Um I come from car audio, home audio. I prefer the larger dynamic driver to do the low end work. These are both single dynamic drivers doing all of the work and they're both doing it brilliantly. This is the superstar that's breaking sales records right now. And this is a slightly modified version of that. And I think they did. I think this is the best T4 by far for me. Because it, there's nothing offensive in the treble. And the bass is... The thing that always got me about the tin high fives is the lack of bass. This is just enough. Just enough to make itself felt on music that has it, but not enough to encroach in other genres like that might do. Doesn't do it for me. I listen to rock. I listen to hip hop. Um, I listen to reggae, uh, Jawaiian. Um, doesn't give me any issues, but other people listen to jazz and to some other stuff that it might present an issue for, and this would probably be what they were looking for. And you're still not spending stupid money. This is still quite affordable. It's going to fit you like a glove. And it's tuned a little more matching towards the maybe audiophile image. The variation between the entire spectrum is not that bad. It's the drop off late in the treble, which would be the biggest difference between the whole thing. Otherwise, everything's fitting within this 10 dB block. It's actually really nice. They did a. I was shocked when I first did the graph for this one. There were three sets that were sent. One was absolutely disaster. The other one was basically a redo of the T2, which would seem to be, as soon as people see the graph for that, they're going to say, what's the point? I already have the T2s. They're not going to buy it. This is very much like that. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot of graphs very similar to these two in 2020. And that's it. I'm out. So if you got questions, leave them below. Full review with music will be coming. I can already tell you by looking at the graphs like you're looking and by listening to it that this is very much like the b with a more secure fit and teeny bit less bass. But that is what a lot of people are probably looking for. So I am out. That's only nine minutes of your life.